<laughs> you got such a beautiful voice, sweetheart. All right. Let's shoot a video so I don't say anything <laughs> nasty. All right, we're gonna put a shower stall seat in here. So we still got some stuff to get done up in this wall and plumber. We got to do some valve move in and this and that. And we're gonna add a stud here to bring this wall up just a tad farther because on the side of that bench seat, we're gonna have a little wing wall or a little knee wall or half wall, whatever you wanna call it. On top of it, it'll have a piece of glass and then the door, glass door will install a swing to that little half wall. Anyhow, he's bonding that, he's using that acrylic bonding agent. Stuff's good stuff. I wouldn't use stucco bonding agent or any real thick bonding agent, what I found that happens is it's so thick that it bonds to itself and will actually peel up off the concrete, especially if it's not really clean. But this stuff, you see, it's like water. It just seeps in, seeps in all the cracks, gets in there, gets in there really good. So, John will roll that all in there, get all up in them cracks real good. And then, so, speaking of crack, let's see here. <laughs> I was just messing. Let's see. So, we'll take these blocks, we'll mix up some good VersaBond after that stuff dries. These blocks sit perfect side by side. I mean, it worked out great. Uh, we'll skim the floor with VersaBond and we'll skim the walls as high as we're going to go. We're going to go. One, two blocks high. Where's them half blocks? Oh, do it. Two full blocks and a half block. And that'll sit right about where we need to be. These are older people, so they'll get a handicap hand or a handrail in there. And, um, and if you notice, you see how he's rolling that stuff on? Take some time, like he's doing. Be, be thorough with it. You know, last thing you you want to happen is something to not bond. I actually got to go fix a sidewalk that I did where something didn't bond and now it looks like I'm going to re-pour the whole thing because we top coated it but who knows stuff happens. But, uh, so we'll skim that area, stick the block in it, skim the back wall, press the block up against it all the way up and what we'll do is when that thing's sitting there we'll take this 80 pound bag of sacrete, it's already pre-mixed concrete. And we'll pour the cells full with it, okay? And then level it off at the top. Then we'll skim. Oh, that's right, we didn't get the full blocks. Okay, we got these half blocks. Okay, we'll just stack them one, two, half block high. Then we'll pour them full with that sacrete. But we'll get to that next. I'll do it part two of this little thing right here because you'll see a lot of videos where they do them with that curdy board or they do them out or they frame them or this or that that's dangerous man 